point of view um, to be part of that kind of an history? Well, I'm sure for Thailand it's, it's, it's very special um, and to know that you had you know, a big tournament like this and you want to showcase you know, what that female cricket is what female cricket is all about and you know for all of all of Thailand to you know to see women's cricket and to see where it's at. Um, for us it's very special um, and with saying that we're not going to take anything for granted we know absolutely nothing about um, you know Thailand but other than just looking at footage but um, I, it's, it's, I know that tomorrow is going to be you know a very special one for both both teams. Sabani, you mentioned you haven't seen a lot about Thailand. How do you sort of gear up to prepare to face a team that's never played at a World Cup before? Well, we basically, um, you know, look at it, look at it like uh, you know, playing Australia or India. We're taking it very seriously. Um, the way we practice, the way we think, the way we go about our business um, is very much serious. Not getting too complacent with the fact that you know they're new on board. But, um, you know, just making sure that we, you know, we do everything and everything right. Um, we've been looking at a lot of footages just to, you know, gear up for tomorrow and get in our head and, you know, mind around it. Well, as we said, I mean, as I said, it's, we're not going to take anything but granted because you have in your back of your mind, you think that, oh, you know, they know nothing about cricket because we haven't played them and we haven't seen much of them. And just to think, you know, you could hit them all around the park and, you know, that could backfire. So it's not about complacency. It's, the ball is round and anything could happen. So it's having that positive mind mindset that, you know, you're going to, you know, go out there and play the right way. I was going to ask, you, have you noticed much of the coverage around the event and perhaps is it the build-up to this tournament been bigger than anything you've experienced before? Sorry, go again? Is this, with all the coverage around this tournament and the build-up to it, is it the biggest that you've experienced in your career? I would say probably one of um, the experience I had back home in the Caribbean was none other. Um, with you know people thinking that we wouldn't have received the crowd that we actually got, it was magnificent. Uh, I think you know every time you look back, you think about Saint Lucia, where you know stands sold out. Um, I think one of the highlight here is actually when I looked on Twitter and see. Um, I think it was two billion, two billion coins being issued out. Um, I would love to get one. I've been trying <laughs> my very best to get one. So, yeah, I think you know the hype around it has been really great. And to hear that you know Australia and India game is already gone. What fifteen thousand? And I could just imagine how much more it will get later on. So yeah, I think the hype around it has been really great. And I, I could imagine, you know, finals they would be definitely sold out. And you had an experience the other day with the koalas at the zoo for the uh, and the uh, Kubra hats that you had on the other day. How was uh, that experience with the koalas and the wildlife there? Well, I have a dog back home, and I think that's um, that's probably the closest I've you know, being with an animal. Um, I wouldn't say I'm an animal friendly person other than my dog, but yeah, it was really nice to actually be close to, you know, a koala. I, you know, I was really scary to be in, in its habitat and, you know, wondering if it will bite, but yeah, it was really nice. And the hat, I really think that the hat suits me. I'm not a person who fancies his hat, but I really love that one. Of the 
Uh, I think it's going to be a tough one. Um, we are really um, trying to finish training early, get everything done, and make sure I have my dinner and you know a few popcorns so, to you know to watch the game because I think it's going to be an excited one. Um, I would just say like the best team win. I'm not sure who's going to win, um, but yeah, just some good cricket and you know so for people to come out and you know support women's cricket.